Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Fractal Bitcoin. Welcome to the show. This is your daily Bitcoin news video. I'm Chris. Let's get right into it. This is the Bitcoin price right now, 60,221. And yeah, I, I think in the, like the last hour we started coming down and it, it you know... There's no activity, no giggle, no nothing. Yeah, there's really no nothing, but now there might be some giggle coming to the downside, which is, I mean, it is what it is, right? We know it's okay. We can come down. We, we, what are, where do we bottom over here? We bottomed at 56,500. So it's, we could come down to 56,500, maybe even a little lower. I think there's support at like, yeah, over here, 52K around 52k. So yeah, look, it this isn't a big deal. The summer is going to be slow. We can't really expect anything till the fall. The fall is when it's going to heat up. So yeah, that's uh the price update and this is uh breaking. Carl Menger tells us that Bitcoin miner sell pressure is easing as Bitcoin withdrawals from miner affiliated wallets have dropped 85% since the April halving. Yeah, he says, we're getting ready for Omega Candle. Supply shock is getting real. Fasten your seatbelt and don't get shaken out. Of course, that's the most important thing. Don't get shaken out. But let me uh, remove myself because you could see this purple line here is the, uh, the minor withdrawals. And you could see back here, almost when, we, when we, the price peaked, the minor withdrawals were very high, but now the minor withdrawals are coming down. And of course, you know, this is very natural after a halving for the miners to sell for a little while because they need, you know, they're, they're getting less reward from the blocks. So they need to keep their business running. So some of the Bitcoin they've stored up, they will sell a little bit of it. This is very natural, very normal. And yeah, so that's good. Um, now, People think they're late to the first and only finite asset humans have ever discovered because it has absorbed 1.2 trillion out of 450 trillion dollars. That's 0.26% of all global store of value. They are in for a face melt pretty soon. Yeah, and this is true. Like so much of Bitcoin is psychological, right? So much of life is psychological and we're just still at the beginning <laughs> we really are we're still at the beginning and people who think we're late or you know people who think they're late it, it's you know okay everyone could have gotten in earlier and everyone laments that they didn't get in earlier that's very normal we all do it right oh i should have bought earlier every single person on earth who has bought bitcoin has felt that, oh, I should have bought earlier. It's normal, it's natural, just get over it, it's okay. But going forward, it's not too late right now, right? Yeah, and you gotta be patient. Markets are a game to learn patience. Yeah, check out this video. But the story was that we essentially went up too fast during 2021. We went from 10K to 64K in like four months. And there's a 650,000 Bitcoin bid from GBTC back then. That's what drove that market. Highly unsustainable. The moment that it turned off, we obviously created. But in this market, we're doing this stair-stepping pattern, which actually builds support. So when you just teleport from 10K to 60K, there's no support. And we filled that whole thing back in in 2022. But if you look at our current market, we're literally rally, pour a new foundation, rally, pour a new foundation. It's this very, very stable structure. Um, you can kind of feel it the longer you spend in market. You, you can feel that the market feels stable. Even though it chops around on the hourly chart, it feels like it's just walking higher, which I think is, is hugely fantastic. You know, like if we stay down here, cool, more people get in. If we go higher, yeah, more people become aware. Yeah, but I mean, that, that, that was my point. It's like expect, I call it chop solidation, um, uh, Jeff Ross calls it the the bull crab. Like th these are all kind of sayings for the same thing, which is like you got to be patient. Markets are a game to learn patience, and you know if you have an expectation, do not like the, the markets have a very very. I don't know. It's almost insidious way of whatever you think is going to happen. It's almost never going to happen. You really have to develop a gut instinct and just allow the tide. I think using like 
the tide and the waves is a good analogy for markets because you cannot fight the tide. You will drown swimming against it, and that's what a lot of people do. You have to just allow the tide to do its thing and learn which way it's going. That's, that's a far, far more uh, beneficial pathway. Yeah, that is very, very interesting, right? You can't fight the tide, right? And for the next year, year and a half, the tide is with us going up. So yeah, very good messages there, right? Got to be patient. So these dog days of summer are, are a little rough. That's what happened to me yesterday, right? I was looking at the news to make to prepare for my daily video, and there was like nothing new. So I put out a video. I know some of you liked it. I hope I hope you all liked it. All right, just in Dave Portnoy says he will put Bitcoin on Barstool Sports's balance sheet if the price dips to the forty k range. And now, and simply Bitcoin posted this, which is great. It's time in the market, not timing the market. And this is a great. This is the reason I'm showing this for this sentence right here. It's time in the market, not timing the market. It's hard to time markets. It's almost impossible to time markets. But that's the good thing about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is different than any other investment ever because you know over the long term, it's just going to keep going up because of supply and demand. It's that simple. So with Bitcoin, you, you can't, you should look at Bitcoin as its own thing. You can't look at it like normal investment, like, oh, I'm going to try to time the market. No, you're going to get wrecked if you try to time the market. All the smart people, they just DCA. They just keep buying little by little over time and you don't sell and that's it. That's the way to do it. Doesn't matter where the price is now. Even if you buy and the price goes down, it's okay. It'll come back up. You just got to wait. So it's time in the market when it comes to Bitcoin, not trying to time the market. So here's Dave Portnoy. He's, he's trying to time the market, you know? I, I, look, we all want to get in at 40K, okay? But I saw some comments to this post. We're probably never going to see the 40K range again. Probably. We might, right? Maybe three days from now we do. Maybe next week we go to, into the 40s. I don't know. And if it goes to the 40s, guess what you and I are going to do? Smash buy. So it's all good. But yeah, timing the market is crazy. You have to understand how Bitcoin works and that it's a long-term play. Long-term. At least 10, 15 years, maybe 20, 25 years. That's the play. I mean, in 15 years, Bitcoin's going to be like, Millions and millions of dollars per Bitcoin, 5 million per Bitcoin, 10 million per Bitcoin. You can wait for that. Trust me. Be patient. <laughs> yeah, now check this out. Bitcoin ATM in Dubrovnik, Croatia. Oh, yeah. There we go. Adoption. Is this what a sat scraper looks like? Oh, God. Had to have a dad joke in there, huh? A sat scraper. Oh, yeah. Also, just in, Bolivia's central bank lifts decade-long ban on Bitcoin, allowing banks to transact with Bitcoin. See? Ultimately, Bitcoin wins. I don't care what bank. I don't care where they are. I don't care. Central bank, Switzerland, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, any of these big, uh, you know, BlackRock, any of these big uh, firms, all of them, without exception, Bitcoin steamrolls right through them. It's beautiful because you can't stop it. It's a force of nature, as I described in yesterday's video, right? So good. All right, well, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. And let's get into a couple stories about fiat government nonsense for context because Bitcoin solves these issues. Bitcoin is just like a cleaning agent. It's just, it's cleaning out all the garbage and the muck in 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 the world and not just in the financial sector all it, it's going to affect all sectors <laughs> it's so beautiful all right well the big news today is that scotus the supreme court overrules the judiciary created chevron doctrine did you know about the chevron doctrine i didn't which has for years given federal executive agencies authority never congressionally delegated to them Okay, so this is a prime example 
of a federal executive agency that was never given, that shouldn't have any authority, but we just let them have authority. The Supreme Court let them have this authority. Why? They should have never done it. But now the Supreme Court is saying, you know what? This is not good and no more. And so the court holds that the Administrative Procedure Act requires courts to exercise their independent judgment in deciding whether an agency has acted within its statutory authority. And courts may not defer to an agency's interpretation of the law simply because a, simply because a statute is ambiguous. Yeah, this is a massive shift in judicial dynamics that will curb the advances of the administrative state. That's the important line right here. This is going to curb the advances of the administrative state. And the administrative state is all these organizations and agencies in the background that were unelected. They were usually appointed, I guess, uh, unelected, but they have power over our country and they're making decisions for you. Why? This is wrong. And so this is good. I mean, look, yeah, it's good. I won't I won't go on my anarchist rant right now. <laughs> All right. But yeah, Parker Lewis says the tide is turning. First ESG, now Chevron. And Bitcoin fixing the money is a natural force bending the world back towards sanity. Still need to completely replace the corrupt political class with principled men and women and pardon Assange Snowden and Snowden, but the tide is definitely turning. Yeah, it really is. And we got to keep pushing. Can't take our foot off the gas right now. Yeah, and DC Drano says, in case you missed it, Trump demolished Biden in the debate, which was last night, which was really pathetic, but whatever. Uh, leftist media ripping Biden to shreds. Yeah, the media has completely turned on Biden. All, overnight, he is now, oh, he's too old. We got to get rid of him. Things we've been saying for six years, now all of a sudden, literally overnight, they're like, you know, the the... The Democrat media is like, oh, we got to get rid of them. Uh, Biden's polls are tanking. SCOTUS overturned hundreds of January 6 felonies. That also happened today. That's kind of huge, right? SCOTUS neutered Jack Smith prosecution of Trump. SCOTUS neutered Deep State by overturning Chevron, which is what we just discussed, all in the past 24 hours. Yeah. Look, this is good momentum in the right direction for sure. Now, here is with miners, with mining, you know, and, and the, uh, the environmental effects of mining. Guess what? Running Bitcoin mining operations on vented methane is so insanely emission reducing, you need to compare it to solar on a log chart, on a logarithmic scale. 96 times more emissions reduced per unit of power. Yes, there are other ways to use vented methane. No, they are not profitable. And here you see it. This is insane. Vented methane for Bitcoin, 136,000. And for solar, it's only 1,000. And this is uh, tons of CO2 per year. So using vented methane for Bitcoin mining, not only is, is so much better for the environment, but it's also good for Bitcoin. Yeah, you're never going to hear the climate idiots talk about anything about this ever. They will never mention this ever because the whole climate scam is is retarded. All right, and here's a funny one. I saw this. I'm like, ah, oh, I got to show you guys. This is a tweet from Julian Assange from October 14th, 2017. And Julian Assange says, My deepest thanks to the U.S. government, Senator McCain and Senator Lieberman for pushing Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, Amex, money bookers, at all into erecting an illegal banking blockade against WikiLeaks starting in 2010. It caused us to invest in Bitcoin and with 50,000% return. Yeah, 50,000%. By the way, th again, this is in 2017 and you can see from the chart here, this is in 2017 and the price was, was only just above $5,000. It's hard to see on here, but that's $5,000 right here. And it went up to 20,000, right? But then it came down and, and then the next bull run went up to 69,000, as we know. But yeah, the, I just thought this was funny. I just thought it was funny. And I hope Julian Assange and WikiLeaks 
still have some of that Bitcoin, right? Because, man, if they got it in 2010, 2010, you're talking like a dollar, maybe less than a dollar for a Bitcoin. Insane. Yeah, and here for your education is a 20-something minute presentation, 24-minute presentation from Efrat Fenigson titled CBDC versus Bitcoin, a world of control versus freedom. It's her keynote speech from BTC Prague. So I will link to this. Definitely check it out. As you probably know, CBDCs are just the worst thing ever for us. It's great for the authoritarians who want to control your every move. CBDCs are wonderful. There's nothing better than a CBDC to control people and control their bank account and shut off their access to their bank account than CBDCs. They're wonderful. But for us, they're the worst thing in the world, so we don't want them. Anyway, check out that video. And here, because it's Friday. Oh, yeah, that Friday feeling. Let's go. Hope you guys have a great weekend. This is our website, fractalbitcoin.com. All our episodes are here and all the resources are here. This link on the top says join our locals community. Click that. Come over to locals. Join. It's free. This is where we're building community. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or follow the channel if you're on Rumble and join the locals. I really appreciate you guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope you're going to get some really good physical exercise. I know uh, I'm going to go on a nice long hike because I'm preparing to climb a 14er later this summer. So that'll be great. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. Enjoy your weekend. You really need to enjoy it because, you know, you work hard during the week, probably. And so you need a break. So let's have a nice break. I appreciate you. I'll see you Monday for another Bitcoin news video. All right. And I'll, I'll be publishing on Locals some videos, uh, exclusive videos over the weekend. So join the Locals if you want to see them. All right. See you Monday.